Um, so let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk about the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer at this point. All right. I figure we got to do it now. Let's do it now. So before we get distracted and then we'll do shout outs and then we'll, you know, the rest of the show. So the GTA 6 trailer isn't much of a trailer at all. It's 60 minutes, excuse me, 90 seconds long. Um, but actually, if you compare that with the other reveals that Rockstar has done for games like GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2, it's right on par. Usually their initial reveals are very, very short, okay? What they're meant to be is a taste. Just a taste of what the game is supposed to be. So, from this 90 seconds, what do we see? We see Miami Beach. We see Miami in general. We see the locations from Grand Theft Auto Vice City now rendered in 2023 graphics, right? Beautiful cars, you know awesome sun, you know, sun and sunlight, you know, beaches, people dancing, partying on the beach, uh, all in bikinis and bathing suits, uh, nightclubs, you know, dancing, drinking, twerking on top of cars. Yes, all of that. And I, again, I, when they show all of that, I'll be honest with you, I don't think that's even representative of what that game is going to be. I think they're showing you this is, this is the vibe of the game. It's a party atmosphere in Miami. And everyone's going to be acting like an asshole, right? And that's what they're going for. They just want to show you the vibe. With GTA V, the vibe was Hollywood. Everyone's a big shot. Everyone's a big wig. Everyone's an asshole. Everyone's into movies and TV, reality TV, music. Everyone's into that shit. In this case, everyone's in Miami to party, right? So it seems like. when you, That's the vibe I get from watching this video. Um, <clears throat> now, the new protagonist, I believe her name is Lucia, a Hispanic woman who is in jail, and it shows her in her jail, you know, her criminal jumpsuit, and then it shows her sitting there with her parole officer. And her parole officer says, well, how did you get end up here? And she says, bad luck, I guess. Now, I read this as one of two things. First of all, this seems to me very similar to the relationship that Michael had with his psychiatrist in Grand Theft Auto V. That perhaps over the course of GTA VI, you have to keep visiting your parole officer to check in on how you're doing. And likely you have to lie through your teeth about your life because if you actually told your parole officer, oh, I'm committing crimes and doing things in Miami, you go right back to jail, right? So, that's kind of interesting to me. But, the take there that, oh, just bad luck. I'm curious about that, and I'll be honest, that makes me a little nervous, and here's why. <clears throat> Historically, the protagonist of every single Grand Theft Auto is a criminal, of some way, right? Tommy Versetti, he already works for the mob, right? Um, you know, CJ, he's already been into gangs and drugs before. Now he's trying to get out, but then he gets pulled back in, right? Then he gets forced to do crimes and stuff by Tenpenny. Um... Nico, Nico Bellic, the entire reason Nico Bellic is in the United States. Is because of things that he did over in Europe that are unspeakable and he needs to basically escape that life and he's trying to start over, but it's because he did bad things. Michael, I mean, he's a reformed criminal? Not really. He's still a criminal. He's just kind of in hiding. Um, Trevor's just a, compl a complete psychopath, right? Sociopath, psychopath. And Franklin, let's be honest, is just too much of a yes man who just does whatever he's told. Even if it's crime, he'll just do it anyway if he thinks he's going to make that paper, right? So every single protagonist <clears throat> up to this point, besides maybe Cl what is it, Clyde, because Clyde has no voice or whatever in GTA 3, they're all criminals, right? In this case, when she's asked, so how did you end up here by her parole officer? She says, oh, bad luck. I don't know if I like that because it means one of two things, right? It either means, okay, she's a super sly. She's going to pretend <clears throat> like she never did anything wrong. Or in her mind, she never did anything wrong. But in reality, we know she's a criminal. She's done awful things. Or, and this is what I really hope they don't go for. I hope they're not like, oh, she was framed. She actually never committed a crime. And she went to jail for something she didn't do. But now, because she's been in jail, she's forced into a life of crime because it's the only way she can get by. I hope that's not the plot. Because that would be like a big victim complex plot. And I'm not down for that. Like, GTA has always had a, a criminal protagonist. An anti-hero. And I like it being an anti-hero. I think we're used to that, and that's what we want from GTA. We don't want, oh, a victim who accidentally was in the wrong place, wrong time. You know, I hope that's not the case, okay? <clears throat> now, they then go on to show Lucia in various different positions. For example, in one scene, she's busting into a store with her cohort. We don't even know his name yet, right? I don't think it's been officially announced. Um, it's supposed to be like her significant other, but also partner in crime. So they're busting in with their guns to hold up a place, right? And then basically, uh, it shows them talking and she's basically asking him to trust her. And he says, yes, I trust you. And they're romantic because, like, she's straddling him in one scene. He has no shirt on, right? But already, we already know how GTA goes, right? We've played every GTA game, right? All of us out there. We all have. Let's be honest. So if you're not a sucker, okay, if you're totally not a sucker, you know what this game's going to be about. 
Do you know? Because I know. Here's the plot. Lucia is going to be the protagonist. Even though we've been alluded to and fooled into possibly thinking this is a Bonnie and Clyde situation, this game is not Bonnie and Clyde. It's just Lucia's story. She's the protagonist, okay? So just get used to it. If you got problems with a woman being the protagonist, you're going to have a hard time with GTA 6 because I'm telling you right now, that's the plot. You can tell when you watch this teaser, that's what they're going for. She's the focal point of the teaser, okay? Now, <clears throat> this is the classic bait and switch in my opinion. What do I mean by that? They make you think... This is Bonnie and Clyde, where the whole game is going to be the two of them working together. I don't think that's it at all. I think one of two things is going to happen in this game. Number one, <clears throat> whoever that dude is, he's going to die. That, and it doesn't have to be relatively early in, maybe halfway through the game. He's going to die. And then she's going to be left alone to try to survive and figure out how to do things for herself. And that's going to be the drama of the game, right? She, he gets arrested or he gets killed. And now she has to do it all herself. She's the protagonist. Or... On the flip side, well, not really the flip side, but a different take on that, which may even be more interesting, all right? At one point in the game, what I think will happen is there's going to be a critical choice that needs to be made, and that guy, even though up until now we think, oh, they're together, they're romantic, they're, they're in it forever, he betrays her in some way. Maybe he, is, he finds a way to escape so he can get away, and he leaves her behind as the bait to get arrested. Maybe he, he, the whole thing was a trick all, all along. Who knows, right? But I feel like <clears throat> that's the plot. I do. I feel like that's the plot. I don't think this is going to be them in it for the whole game. We just had a game with three protagonists in GTA 5 where they all were working together to do stuff. I think that's the trick in this one. They want you to think it's going to be GTA 5 again, and it's not. That's the twist, okay? I 100% believe that's the plot of the game, and I think that's why there's a trick. You think it's going to be Bonnie and Clyde, and it's, it's her. It, the whole game's her story. I'm okay with that. As long as she's well-written, as long as she's complex and interesting, and she has these dilemmas of conscience and things. All these characters have in GTA, I'm okay with that. But I think a lot of people are getting the wrong impression, and I think the reason Rockstar is doing it, let's be honest, is because people are fucking sexist idiots. And GTA is a very male-oriented game. Look at all the sexual content with half-naked women and stuff in it, right? There's no dudes walking around with their dongs flopping out, but there's women walking around with their boobs out. It's for, supposed to be for young dudes who are, like, into that shit. It always has been. So if they announced, oh, the game has a female protagonist right off the bat, half the people are like, oh, you can't take that. Oh, you, oh, you're so woke to have a female protagonist. I'm not playing it. I'm out of here, you know? And that's so stupid and closed-minded. It really is. But that's how people are in modern society and with games to, in a lot of ways. They're still like that. So... I definitely feel like that's the case, that Rockstar is purposefully leading us along to think the game will be one thing, when in reality it will not, because they don't want to have that kind of negative backlash, okay? That's my take. You could disagree, but that's my take. Now, the funny part about that is, all right, outside of everything I just mentioned, which I analyzed or, or guessed from the trailer, there's nothing else to say. Why not? Because it's all fluff. It's 90 seconds. And out of the 90 seconds they show, literally, like, 60 to 70 seconds is just a montage of clips. Here's a road with cars and guys are getting out of their cars. Here's the beach. Everyone's partying on the beach, right? Here's the nightclub and people are throwing money at a twerking stripper. Here's a party. They're all dancing. Here's a woman twerking on top of a car. Oh, look, an alligator's in a pool. Oh, look, an alligator's running into a convenience store. Oh, look, here's a SWAT team busting down a house. You can't discern anything from that because that's probably not representative of what the game's going to be. What they're doing is they're building atmosphere but they're not showing you the game. You have absolutely no idea what the gameplay elements will be in GTA 6 because they didn't show any, right? <laughs> so I think that's that's on purpose, right? But I'll be honest, if you watch the, the trailer for GTA 5, the initial teaser, it's a little bit more revealing. You get we're told there's three protagonists and it looks like they'll be working together to do heists. Like you get that idea from the initial teaser and then it hooks you. Ooh, that's a new gameplay element for GTA 5 where you're going to have three protagonists and they're going to do heists together. Now at that time you didn't know you could switch between them. That was revealed later down the line. I remember specifically when they revealed that and I was like, oh, that's kind of unique and interesting. That could be pretty good. So we know nothing about the gameplay right now, right? We really don't. Um, <clears throat> but outside of that, is it, is it a good teaser? I would say, does it tease you? Yeah, it does. But sadly, there's not a lot of substance. You know, you're left to analyze the very few scenes and frames you get with Lucia that actually pertain to the real game. Everything else is just fluff because this game has been in development for 10 years and people are foaming at the mouth for information about it. And I see people online that, oh my God, it's the best teaser ever. I'm like, what the fuck are you watching? You fucking idiot. I mean, people are such fucking dumb idiots these days. Wow, that was so good. They didn't even show anything. You don't know what the game is. You don't know anything about you. I mean, you're guess, you have to guess at the plot, right? Like, what the fuck did you learn from the trailer that you think it's the best thing ever? You're a moron, right? <laughs> you think that's the best thing ever. People are so dumb. Now, Another thing is that people, some people are upset 
that it's coming out in 2025. I literally said on this show yesterday, it's coming out, or was it this show yesterday? Or was it in chat? I said yesterday, it's coming out 2025. That's exactly what I said. Because I knew it wasn't going to come out next year. That was too early. They want to have time to hype it. And they're going to be doing slow reveals over the year to show you gameplay elements and buzz for it and everything. I knew that. All right. Plus, here's the thing. I would almost bet that they're going to try to pull a GTA 5 again. What do I mean by that? They're going to try to do a thing where they're going to sell this game at the end of the life cycle of certain consoles. And then they're going to resell it on the next gen. That's exactly what they did with GTA 5. And I guarantee you they're going to do that with this. And you want to know how I know that? Because if you didn't pay attention in the trailer, it says coming to Series X and PS5. And that's it. Did you notice a big glaring omission? There's nothing there for PC. Did you notice it doesn't say for PC? Do you want to know why it doesn't say it's for PC? Because they want to sell you this game multiple times again. So by leaving PC out at launch, okay, by doing that, they actually have it so that you will buy this game on a console, play it, and then buy it again when it releases on PC in the next year. That is their intention. 100%, that's exactly what they want. They want your money twice, three times, four times over. That's what happened with GTA 5. You bought it on PS3 and Xbox 360. Within a few months, it was out on PS4 and Xbox One, and everyone bought it again. Everyone did. Everyone literally bought it twice, right? Then it came out on PC, you know, so that's what they're doing. That's exactly what they're going to do. Console launch, then PC, then next-gen console. So you're going to buy the game three times. And people are going to fall for it again because it's GTA. They just, they, for some reason, there's certain games where you fall. Every year people fall for Call of Duty. Never fails. Even though people say, oh, this version sucks. It's just a ripoff. It's just a DLC. Then they buy it. Every year, never fails. GTA is that same example. People are going to buy this game over and over, okay? So, there you go. That's my take. My take is, number one, Lucia will be the protagonist. There is no second protagonist. It's going to be a story where either she's betrayed or her partner gets murdered or killed or arrested, and now she's left to deal with that. I think that's the drama of the game. That's my take, and they don't want to admit that right away because you'll have people who are fucking sexist idiots who will say they don't like the game because it has a female lead the entire game. That's take number one. Take number two um, is that we just don't know enough about the game to really make judgments because all you saw was fluff in that teaser besides the few little pieces about Lucia. And I, I really hope that it does not become a victim game where, oh, wrong place, wrong time, Im you know, unfairly incarcerated, then freed but forced into the life of crime because there's just no other way for her to make a living outside of crime, right? Victim, victim, victim. I don't want a victim story. I want a story where someone made bad decisions and maybe they have a redemption arc or maybe they don't. Like, take a look at Michael in GTA V. He doesn't necessarily really have a redemption arc. He has a few moments of goodness, but he's pretty much still an asshole, right? That's good. That's that's interesting. That's better than the, 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 the boring... Uh, <clears throat> very cliche oh it was just a bad situation and because she's the first female protagonist oh she was always innocent and she's just forced into this life of debauchery and crime right no I don't like that I want it to be just like you know the, what you expect she's a criminal she made bad decisions maybe now she tries to fix her life who knows right we'll see so that's my take alright you could disagree and that's okay but that's what I got out of that initial teaser I hope you enjoyed my analysis now if you'd like to see me formally react to it you could always submit it for my react show this coming Sunday, DSP versus the Internet. People who are members on my DSP Reacts channel, feel free to formally submit it. Say, I want to see you react live to the whole thing, and I will.